Thank you very much for the introduction. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm going to talk about spastic esophageal disorders and um, how POEM fits into other treatment options. Um, mainly that includes treatment for type 3 echolasia, distal esophageal spasm, jackhammer, and nutcracker esophagus. The group is in general characterized by hypercontraction of the esophage esophageal smooth muscle, and it also usually includes a significant portion of the esophageal body. Um, DES and jackhammer usually show normal LES relaxation while the type 3 achalasia has an impaired or incomplete LES relaxation. There's a possible overlap, sometimes diagnostic uncertainty, and it's also a possibility that um, esophageal spastic disorders progress towards a classic achalasia later. I've in this image pointed out the, the jackhammer here on this image where you see that this uh, green band, which stays continuously and doesn't open up, um, which represents the lower esophageal sphincter, mm -hmm. is here not opening up in the type 3 echolasia and is here opening up in the um, jackhammer. Then what we also look at is the distal contractile integral, um, which is defined as being higher 8,000 uh, as a definition for the jackhammer to rule out um, or to, to define this entity. If we look at DES and achalasia and fluoroscopy, we see typically in DES this corkscrew or rosary bead esophagus, and here you see in a, in a classical achalasia image this bird's beak appearance, the dilated um, esophagus as diagnostic features. Symptoms, there's an overlap between achalasia and the spastic disorders. Chest pain seems to be more common in SED as, as an important um, diagnostic feature or symptom for patients. The pharmacologic treatment is mainly calcium channel blockers and nitrate. There are other uh, miscellaneous medications that are used um, for it, but their treatment results are not consistent enough to establish clear recommendations. And also, if you have a manometry response to medication, it doesn't mean you will have a long-term effect of pharmacologic treatment. What always should be done, you should rule out um, secondary spastic disorders, uh, e.g. triggered by reef acid reflux or eosinophilic esophagitis, so the usual workup, um, pH metry, um, a trial of PPIs and biopsies for esophageal, um, uh, eosinophilic esophagitis um, should be done. The endoscopic treatment options include balloon dilatation, and balloon dilatation is usually targeted towards relieving an LES obstruction, so there's limited use of this modality in, um, in a disease where the LES function is preserved or there is LES relaxation, and it's also limited for use in a disease where mainly the esophageal body is affected. When using Botox, you can go up with your injection in these diseases to the proximal esophagus, um, but the treatment duration is limited. Usually the effect wears off after six to 12 months, and so you will have to, to think of repeat treatment, and we also know that then later surgery is more difficult after repeat, uh, repeated Botox injection. Halomyotomy has a good long-term success rate compared to, to medical therapy. Um, the problem is really to tailor the myotomy up into the proximal esophagus, and this is where POEM comes in, where you can just go up in the, in the um, proximal esophagus and you can tailor your myotomy um, towards what you find in the high-resolution manometry. So it might be the, the um, best treatment of choice because all alternative therapies have limitations. You can really tailor your myotomy according to what you see in your manometry finding, and you can also include or spare the LES from your myotomy. This is the, the best summary of the data available for this disease. Um, it's a pooled data analysis from observational studies, 180 patients, the follow-up um, three months to three years, and overall the clinical success rate is about 90%. You see that the best results you get for type 3 achalasia, and then distal esophageal spasm almost 90% too, and jackhammer esophagus a little bit less with 72%. Complication rate similar to what we see from POEM series, only five patients in that series with a severe um, adverse event and usually well-tolerated um, treatment. 
So what are the open questions? It's a rare disease, even achalasia is a rare disease, so we only have these observational studies. We use, we use to pool our data from different centers to get a, a decent sample size, and this will also make future studies likely very difficult. There, hmm? There's a question, um, should we include or spare the LES? Um, we sometimes see these diseases progress to achalasia, so that's a reason to um, to do the myotomy for the LES, but we also want to avoid um, GERD complications. And we do not know what the long-term risk of a real long myotomy is. In this series um, presented, it was 17 centimeter in average lengths. So for the management, balloon is likely not the ideal treatment. A medication and Botox for multimorbid elderly patients or as an initial treatment trial after myotomy failure or um, patient preference. Myotomy seems to be the best treatment and POEM theoretically makes a lot of sense for these patients. Um, results, as, as a conclusion, better for type 3 than DES, than jackhammer esophagus, um, but we need better or larger series to really show um, that POEM really has long-term effects and what are the results with regard to GERD in this patient cohort. Thank you very much.